everybody, what's up? Long time no see uh, for that, I am sorry. If you've been to the channel before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. My name is Nikki and yeah, uh, sorry it's taken so long to get the videos out. My life has sort of um, imploded a bit and I feel like I have lots of updates uh, to get to. Hopefully we can keep the uh, flow of information kind of down to a minimum before I get the video started. This is the uh, pin collection video, so finally getting that moving. Um, yeah, so good times. I had much hoped that both the collection videos had been out by now, but <laughs> life got in the way. Uh, anyway, so where to even begin? Uh, hmm. I don't even begin to know where to start. Um, I guess box um, update. I will be getting the November Bippity Boppity Box um, in, so that'll be, I think they're shipping it sometime soon, so that'll be coming up in the next few weeks. I do have two surprises coming. Um, the last update I got for one of them, it should be shipping in the next couple weeks maybe. Uh, I got delayed, so uh, as soon as it gets whatever it is they're waiting on, it will be heading my direction. And the other one, they just, I think the last update I got on that, it was supposed to be here sometime before Christmas, so um, yeah. I'll keep you updated on that one. I don't even know when that one's coming, just sometime before Christmas. So two surprises on that, and then the November Bippity Boppity. Um, the Harry Potter collection video uh, I hope will be up sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, my upload schedule is going to be willy-nilly uh, for I don't know how long. As you can tell, this video isn't on a Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, my my schedule is crazy at the moment. So the videos are just going to go up whenever I can get them up. If it falls on a Tuesday, great. If not, they're just going to go up whenever I can get there. Uh, backing way up, uh, I don't know how much I've said or talked about my job. I know whatever I have talked about has been negative, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, I will give an update for that, and then I won't ever talk about it again. I've worked uh, where I am at for a little over a year. I was hired on at the end of July last year, and I have been so incredibly unhappy from the get-go. Never been so unhappy in a place from day one, ever. Uh, this isn't a place that takes care of their employees. Uh, I was told incorrect information from uh, enrolling in my benefits and then HR wouldn't work with me. Uh, they pretend to work with me at first and then they ghosted me when they got all the information they wanted. And then I didn't have uh, any insurance for a year. And then uh, finally got insurance just a few months ago. And then it's it's just been a headache. Uh, they're now making d bad decisions. Like uh, corporate is making bad decisions and it's trickling down to the stores and they're blaming it on the stores. It's just, it's a, it's a bad deal. So, uh, I got put on a performance plan or whatever you want to call it. It's essentially a, an elaborate write-up for something that wasn't my fault. It, it's like the upper people's um, decisions fell on me. They were saying it was like 90% my fault. And some of it's my fault. I would have taken like 20% of it being my fault, but not the 90% they were saying it was. So I started looking for other jobs. Um, 
I'm done with retail. I'd like to be home. I drive 61 miles one way to get to uh, work every day. I'd like to be home. I'd like to not drive. I'd like to be out of retail. Problem is I live in a small town. Uh, it's hard to make the money that I make now. So the implosion that happened, it was in when like a week uh, that this all happened. Uh, at home, I was uh, I got like a bunch of interviews. I was offered several jobs, but I was taking like four, five, six dollar pay cuts and I can't afford to do that. So it was incredibly disheartening. And then I found a job and I think I was only losing like a dollar sixty or something which is doable and that was the implosion it happened within like a week I was interviewed her no I was put my application in I did some uh, there's like an evaluation which I passed and then I did an interview which I you know passed I was offered the job then I had to do a physical a drug test which I passed all that and then I was offered the job all within a week time so super fast and then I for the first time in my working career I didn't put a two-week notice in which my boss told me that if I were if he were me I wouldn't do it um, he told me not to put a two-week in just to start my job be happy so I didn't and I started right away so I've been in this job for three weeks now. It's shift work. Um, my days are crazy. I don't actually get weekends off. I just, I work six days, I'm off three, I work six, I get three days off and I work six and I'm off four days off, something like that. I haven't actually had three days off in a row. Um, I've been giving one day off in my three day off rotation so far. I'm the new kid, I lose my days off apparently so it is what it is so my I'm training so it's kind of a I lose them for training and it's it is what it is but my life has been kind of crazy for the last almost month the other thing is uh, I went from a bi-weekly pay like payment system to a monthly payment so I haven't been paid in over a month so my budget is kind of crummy um, still but hopefully we'll get that figured out and it's fine uh, so Im implosion is a little bit of a crazy thing and I don't do well with change good or bad I think it has something to do with my anxiety probably I don't do well with change so if you hadn't heard from me because I disappeared off the face of the earth I apologize uh, doing the videos and stuff weren't really my priority because I'm trying to resettle into a different job. Uh, this job is in town. It's six blocks away. So I went from a 61 mile one way trip to like three minutes. So it's really, uh, really close. It's really cool. So it's good for me. Uh, good benefits. They didn't screw me over there. So it's just getting resettled into a, to a job. So it's great. I'm just change, you know, change. Good times. But I think that's it. I I don't know. There's just so much stuff happening right now that it it's taken my priority and then I've let this slide because I just trying to get settled in and and I come home and I'm exhausted and can't get my motivation because I'm I'm just focused 100% on learning my new job so for that I'm sorry that I've ignored you it wasn't really my intention I didn't realize this was gonna happen so fast um, but I'm glad that it did because where I was was an incredibly toxic uh, atmosphere so hopefully this is better um, but yeah so uh, I'll get to the video now. Um, I'm not gonna go super in depth for like where I bought certain pins because honestly I don't remember. Um, some of the pins are on boards but they're not on the wall because 
I bought the pins and then, or I bought the boards and it turns out those boards are somehow smaller. You'll see them here in a second. So I'm gonna, we're gonna move into the other room. Uh, so field trip time, because we're in the living room in there, in the other room. So we're gonna move. Okay, so this is the like setup that I've got on the wall. I have those, um, Uh, hexagon or like what they call them the honeycomb ones or like the honeycomb cork boards or whatever I got these on Amazon and they're just um, what do I have I think I have uh, just the command strips to have them like stuck to the wall and then I have the little ones that uh, I don't have on the wall. I need more, but I have to wait till I get paid to buy the correct ones. So these are like the little ones that I bought thinking they were the, uh, the other ones. I will show you here in a second, like how small they are compared to the others. This board here was my original like board, which I quickly outgrew. And it is my I don't know, miscellaneous one that doesn't really fit into my collection, but I like the pins enough that I keep them. Don't really want to get rid of them, but don't really know what else to do with them, I guess. So we'll go through them one by one, and then I'll show you what the pins are. Uh, we'll probably start with the ones on the wall, because they are harder to get to. I'm just going to do a really quick glance at this one, not really too in-depth because that's my Harry Potter pin collection, or at least some of it. Um, I won't, I'll show that one in my Harry Potter collection, not so much uh, this one. This, oh, it's going to glare, isn't it? Well, maybe. This is my Hercules board. Gonna glare, maybe. I do have a couple duplicates. But these are all authentic. I'll show you the couple that I don't, um, or that aren't. Uh, this one, which I thought was hilarious when I saw it, I got it from eBay. Uh, it is actually plastic. It's not enamel or anything. And I believe this one is a fantasy pen that I got from Etsy. This one should also open. Windows. This one here is actually the duplicate because I've got one up there too. Uh, I, if you haven't noticed or you didn't see it down on the floor, the small uh, board is where my Hades pins are. I separated the two. It, all my Hades ones used to be on this board as well, but it was overwhelmed. Out of my Hercules uh, pens, I'm gonna say this one's probably my favorite, but I do really like uh, the Meg pin. Uh, this is my Mickey Mouse board. I'm going to revamp this one to do more classic Mickey instead of just random Mickey pins that I just like. And then I do want to, um, there are some mini pins in here too, obviously, because I don't really have a mini board they share. 
And then uh, I want to start a uh, uh, like a sorcerer board. So my my regular Mickey Mouse like pin board isn't really all that great. So I'm I'm not very happy with this board. Color wise, I think this pin's probably my one of my favorites and I really like this one. My Pluto board. I have several duplicates on this, I do believe. Uh like this one's a duplicate. I have duplicates for these. I figure he's my favorite, so I can have duplicates. I think uh, Again, I want to uh, sort of revamp my Pluto ones. I tend to pick up every single pin that has Pluto on it, even if I don't necessarily like the pin. So I need to go through and uh, fix it a little bit better. I think uh, these two tend to be my, my favorites on the board, for Pluto anyway. I do really like this one, which I believe is actually a fantasy pin from uh, the Bippity Boppity boxes. Okay, my Philip pins, which is actually steadily growing. Um, I think this one is the only fantasy pin, and that's from Disney Chris. I think the only place I've seen them is uh, Instagram, but the rest I believe are authentic. These two come from Box Lunch, which are obviously duplicates. So I am getting, oh, and these two are duplicates. But they're getting there. I'm getting quite a few Philip pins and I'm pretty happy about it. He's hard to find. All right, the next board is my Pirates board. This one I'm also planning on revamping. Um, it's a little underwhelming at the moment. I have most of like this collection, the um, skulls and crossbones that are in the different characters. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already. Essentially, all of these pins are from like the last two trips that we've done. And what I had been doing is just making like one gigantic board for each trip. So I had one big board for the 2016 trip and then one big board for the 2018 trip. So I had no idea what I had from the previous trip. So it was just whatever I had is whatever I had. So I just recently like divvied them up in collections. So now I've got, you know, pirates and Pluto and um, Prince Philip and, and the like. So um, once I did that, it was sort of shocking, I guess, to see how underwhelming my pin collections were. So I'm going to be more focused on beefing, I guess you can say, some of them up. Um, I think the only one out of this that isn't authentic is this one, and that came from Bippity Boppity as well. It matches the uh, um, the Pluto one. They're out of the same collection from Bippity Boppity. The one down here is actually a, um, it's the, oops, uh, Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary pin. Jessie got it for me when she went during the 50th anniversary. Uh, that is one that I want to do. I'm gonna get a, a pin board of Haunted Mansion going. I love Haunted Mansion, but some of their pins are a little bit underwhelming. So I will be uh, eventually getting a pin board for them going. Okay, so this one is my uh, commemorative, I guess, pin board. This one is 
the uh, <laughs> like first time we went kind of thing. There's a lot of glare on it. My, I'm sorry. These are, you know, first time we went to the park. So this is like first trip, 2016. We commemorated each park with their own pin. Uh, first time we went on the Navi River. First time we went to Disneyland, rode the pirate ride in Disneyland. First time we <clears throat> rode Toad's, you know, Mr. Toad's Wild Adventure, things like that. Um, we weren't necessarily there for Epcot 35, but since we found pins, you know, we considered that being there. Um, Seven Dwarves Mine Train, first time I've ridden a roller coaster in Disney. Uh, probably one of the last times I'll ride a uh, roller coaster in Disney. You know, all of that kind of thing. So this is like the first time we did all this stuff in Disney. Port Orleans is the first time we've ever stayed on property. So things such as that. So uh, this is the commemorative board. Sort of first time experience um, of all that stuff since we were there um, in 2016. My first adult trip I've been, but it was like when I was six, so not something I would have remembered. Okay, this is the last board that's on the wall, and this is what I'd call like my specialty board. This is stuff that was like either they're meaningful to us in a way because we were um, there during a festival or it has meaning to us in other ways, like the three Caballero pin that's right here. Mom, Jesse, and I are, you know, consider ourselves the three Caballeros. Also, it was during the Food and Wine Festival, which is the first time we'd ever been there. We got to go during the, you know, Not So Scary, another Food and Wine, another Not So Scary, uh, Festival of the Arts, which is amazing. Um, 2018, which is the last time we'd been, um, oh, there's the pin. I thought that was on the Pluto board. It's considered a specialty pin because we were there during the, um, the year of the dog, the Chinese, um, day. Uh, we did this. It's one of the tasks that you go through all the pavilions to look for the, uh, uh, the paintings of uh, Figment, and then you get a pin when you're done. Uh, this is another one of those. It's like the Ratatouille Hide and Squeak. Uh, we were there in 2016. This sort of commemorates the, the Not So Scary. Um, we are Ohana, so that means something to us, the grape soda pin. Uh, this is one of our favorite YouTubers pins that he has a shop for. Uh, last time I was in Alaska, I got a pin. I think I actually got this on Etsy. So it's a sort of a like the specialty pins, stuff that means something to us. Um, in this case, it's not all Disney pins. Um, this one is not authentic. This one's not, these two aren't even Disney pins. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's the last of them that's on the wall. I do want to show, um, like why the rest of them aren't up on the wall. These are the boards that I got and they are uh, much smaller. So until I get paid again uh, and replace the boards, I will not be uh, putting those on. I do have some of them filled up, but uh, I won't be putting them up on the wall 
because they are uh, quite a bit smaller. Okay, so these are three of the small pin boards, and then this was the uh, like the random miscellaneous one. That used to be like one of the two that I had that was just like the 2018 trip and then I had another one that was the 2016 trip and then I had no idea if I had duplicates or not. So it just looked super full so I looked like I had a ton of uh, pins and then when I had them all separated out, uh, not so much. So this is my Hades board. Also as you can see there's Pain and Panic. Um, at this point, I'm just collecting any and every uh, Hercules pin that I can get my hands on. Um, I think this came from Box Launch, I think, and then Jesse got me these. This came from the Disney Store, these two, uh, the Pain and Panic. And then this one actually came from... Uh, bippity boppity so this is a uh, I don't think it's a th authentic but I'm not sure but Jessie got me the these two while she was in um, Disney last the other uh, bad part of these boards is they poke through the back so they would damage my walls really bad so those. Uh, my princess board. If I could find the rest in this collection, I think these are adorable. I'll have to look into that because I love this style. I think those are amazing. I can't remember. I want to say they're called cuties, but um, I'm not sure. But I do really enjoy that style. So, so far it's just a, a mishmash of princess stuff. Those two being my favorite. And then my villains board. Um, the Maleficent pin, this one also came from Bippity Boppity, so I don't think it's authentic. Um, but it doesn't matter, I like it anyway. I I really enjoy some of the um, the custom pins. They get quite um, quite creative. So I'll be revamping a lot of my um, pins. I have to go through and probably write a list to see what exactly I'm wanting to revamp so then when we go back then I can focus on that and you know, like those particular collections instead of my usual willy-nilly just grab whatever pin because that's what I tend to do and then I get home and then I'm mad at myself because I've just grabbed a bunch of pins that I didn't need okay so this is my, I guess, miscellaneous board. It has the confetti and my buttons and like the transportation cards and a token and all sorts of stuff, ticket or uh, stickers and and God knows what else on here. So they're essentially uh, like. They're pins I don't need, but at the same time, they're pins I don't really want to get rid of. But don't really fit into a collection anywhere. I'm going to move this one because I won't get rid of it. I bought it special. This one cracks me up every time. Um, I'll probably move that one to my specialty one. Uh, this one was a mystery pin. I answered like a question from a cast member and then she handed it over and this was 
a free pin and this at the park was like $15 if you were gonna buy it so I lucked out quite a bit uh, I'm pretty sure I have almost this entire collection Um, I've kept this one because he's from Bedknobs and Broomsticks and I love that movie. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, is that King Richard, I think? Um, if there's more to this collection, I need to look for it because I think he's adorable. Um, I also think I managed to collect all of these, and I think I did it in the park by trading, so I was quite proud of myself for that. And that is all of it. Like, that's... That's my pin collection. It's not vast, it's not small, but it's not vast either. So it's not overwhelmingly large, but I mean, I'm somewhat proud of it for what it is, considering this is two trips worth so far. So I've got those three boards there and what's on the wall currently there. Oh, and I just got one from Enchanted Dan on Etsy, which will be getting added to the board. So, symbol of the gods for my Hercules board. But yeah, that is my pin board, or my pin collection. Um, if any of you have questions, like I didn't go one by one, I've seen other pin collections that they pull them all off, they show you one by one, they tell you where they got them. I don't remember where I got most of them. Most of them I got them in the parks. Um, I got them eBay, Etsy, the parks. That's, that's it. Um, if you have questions, want to see one, you know, more close up, then just let me know. You know, I'll send a picture or do another video or whatever, but um, I figured if we didn't want this to be forever in a day long, this was the fastest way to do it. Um, but yeah, so that was the best way that I could think to do this. Okay, well, that's the pin collection. Um, it's small but mighty. Uh, it is going through a revamp that is going to be a slow going sort of deal. Taste change, and uh, that's pretty much all I can say. Taste change, and I will be sort of in the process of redoing it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it'll just be going. I'm excited for the 50th um, anniversary. Hopefully we'll be going and I'll start the revamp process there. Um, I could do it now, but it's a slippery slope to be doing that via eBay and trading and stuff because, yeah, we, yeah, just that's a dangerous thing to do. So I'll probably just slowly revamp maybe one pin here or there um, but yeah I'm proud of what I have even if it is 
relatively small. Um, it's it's actually, I mean, it's pretty big for what, for how long I've been doing it because I haven't been doing it all that long. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite pin is or favorite collection. Uh, let me know what your collections are. Uh, what kind of pins do you collect? And then, yeah, I guess that is it. So be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.